Now the Tokyo Gecko market has just exploded over the last couple of years. Even from when I started back in 2019 to 2020 to 2021, some of these prices of these Tokyo Gecko morphs have doubled to even tripled. This with the just scarcity of people willing to sell their genetic mutations comes to the common question of, well, how much do these Tokyo morphs really cost? And that's the exact question we're going to be answering today. How much do Tokyo Geckos cost? We'll be going over some of the more common Tokyo morphs in this video, and then I may branch off into a later video going to the more rare and uncommon ones. With all that being said, I guess time to sit back, relax, dive into some Tokyo Gecko morphs, and roll the intro. And just a quick disclaimer before we get this video started, this video was made in mid-2021. Obviously, if you're watching this a year from now, the prices might, might have influxed, uh, gone down. Maybe Toke Geckos are now worth thousands of dollars. Maybe they're worth just $80. All depends, but that's what time this making. Uh, while I have you, maybe uh, hit that like and subscribe button while it's down there. Two, two days a week Toke content, that's all. Let's get into the video. Kicking things off, we'll be starting with the basics, which of course is going to be the normal Toke Gecko. Of course, the cost of a normal Toke Gecko is going to vary based on what captive bred it's in, if this is just a first generation captive bred, if it's a CBB has gone through multiple generations of captive bred animals, or if this is just your standard wild caught. If you are planning on getting your wild caught imported token, the price is going to vary around $15 to $70 at the high end. Uh, if you're not very adept on um, habitualizing and uh, making sure acclimating uh, wild caught animals, I would not recommend getting the $15 ones. Those usually need a lot of TLC. However, if you are more interested in getting a captive bred little baby to make your own little demon monster, <laughs> If you're looking for a Toke baby that is captive bred, you're looking at the price range anywhere from $60 to $150. I don't know why the price is so like out there. It just seems, I, I feel like uh, with a bunch of animals that do show parental instincts, there is a high demand for people that want to breed them. Probably not for the best, but that's what happens. And so with those people, they don't really think about the market. It's again, one of like the Crested Gecko thing where just people doing it as like a super small hobby. They just have one Toke baby and they're like, I'll sell it for $60. Um, meanwhile, there is people like me who own 20 geckos that cost hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars to house and feed where I would go bankrupt without selling my babies for 60. So usually it's around $150 area, but there are the people that just say screw it and just say 20 bucks for a uh, captive bread. But moving on, let's get into a gecko that is very dear to my heart. Of course, the first mutation I ever got, and that's going to be the reduced pattern toke gecko. Reduced pattern tokes are pretty rad. Of course, being a co-dominant gene, uh, of course, we are talking about the reduced pattern, not the green-headed blue. They are separate things. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later in the video. However, reduced patterns, of course, they have that nice, like, green turquoise -y look going from instead of that blue uh, base pattern, usually with little to no orange dots and still retaining the white barring. Uh, these guys are pretty cool. It was, uh, like I said, my first ever token morph. I got an adult male for $450. Uh, pretty good deal. Um, definitely not a deal you're getting nowadays, but it was, uh, I, I scooped him at the right time. Of course, as with all the other token gecko mutations, uh, everything is just rising in price as we go on through the years. Uh, usually the token morph, if you are looking for a reduced pattern gene, you're going to be anywhere in the ballpark from three to $400. I haven't seen him go for any less. You might find that odd one going for $250, but three to $400 seems a pretty middle ground as far as I know. I don't know too many people working with Reduce. Uh, I know Denise over Luck, uh, Lucky Foot Reptiles. She is the one that I got my Reduce for. Or Lucky Foot Geckos. I'm so sorry. Um, she's the one that I got my Reduce from. I know she's working with them. But um, yeah, it's uh, just me and her, it seems like. There might be other people that I don't know about. <laughs> Maybe you're one of those people that you don't really like the white bar. I'm glad the orange spots are gone, you know, heck with the orange spots. However, I don't like the white bars either. I just want a blank slate, a blank canvas of a toke gecko. Well, if you're looking for that, then you're going to be in the ballpark for the patternless genes. If you're looking for patternless geckos, there are a wide range of patternless. I keep spinning. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Out of this gecko, there's a pretty good variety of patternless genes. Of course, we have the blue-headed green, so we talked about a little bit earlier, which is different from the reduced patterns. They're two separate things. It's a little bit confusing, I know, but they are uh, different. Green-headed blues, of course, or blue-headed greens have the blue head and the green body, whereas reduced patterns usually still have that white barring. Different things look pretty much the same. 
different pricing. Uh, of course, then we also have the olive patternless, which is not going to have that blue head. You're just going to have a completely patternless gecko. Uh, in my, I don't know much about the olive patternless. It never sparked my interest, so I haven't looked too much into them. But mostly, they kind of just look dark and blank. That's olive color, I assume, from olive patternless. That's that's my extent of knowledge on the olive patternless gene. <laughs> As far as the patternless geckos, you are looking at a ballpark range of around $500 for babies. You've not, you're not going to see patternless too often. It seems uh, my man JT Wheeler, Wheeler. I'm so I, I hope I'm saying that right. He seems to be the guy to go to when it comes to patternless genes. He really is working heavy with the patternless uh, combinations and things like that. So I would go with him for patternless. But last time I checked, I believe it was around $450, $500 for babies. That is not including the powder blues. We're we'll getting the powder blues later. They are definitely their own separate thing just because of how sought upon and popular the mutation really is. Before we get into the powder blues, there is an up and coming mutation gene that we want to talk about a little bit, and that's of course going to be one of my favorites really. These things are just really awesome, uh, the green galaxy geckos. Here's the thing with green galaxy geckos, there's two things I know about them. Number one, they look just incredible. Uh, just the, the sparkles of these nice red spots, but not too much going on. When fired down, you see like these blotches of red but they're not like a continued thing they have this nice steel bar it's not really barring but it's just like the white spots going everywhere they're incredible i really enjoy the green galaxy gene number two is going to be i don't know that much about them as far as what i've talked about with morgan of course the producer or the uh founder i don't know what you want to call it. she made the green galaxies over at homegrown scales um the way she described it was very confusing. As far as I can see, it's a line bread trait. So she's put X gecko with X gecko, then took that pairing and put it with another pairing that made into that, that then popped out uh, Green Galaxies. I don't know what's behind the Green Galaxy. I'm working on it. Of course, we got that clutch of eggs from our powder blue to Green Galaxy pairing. I'm very excited for those to hatch out, see what's gonna happen. No, they're not for sale. No, I'm not gonna sell them. I'm gonna be working with them to see if we can, um, take out really what makes the Green Galaxy or what morphs are gonna come out of that pairing and then pair them back to see what we can, we're gonna, we're gonna do some crazy stuff over here. So they're not for sale, that's the uh, that's the bottom line. Looking for a visual of the Green Galaxy mutation, um, I don't know what the current price is for them. Back when I bought them, I bought one of my males for uh, $350 I believe and then I bought another one that was really nice. That's the one I actually paired with the powder blue. That one was 600 and something dollars. So I can only imagine they've gone up, so potentially five, six hundred, maybe seven hundred. I'm not entirely sure. If you're interested, hit up Homegrown Scales. Maybe she has some for sale. I have enough males, Morgan. I, I can't get another one. I'm already male heavy. Hit me up if you got any females, though. I really want a female green galaxy. Right, and then ending off this video in a high note, of course, the piece of the resist the resistance. The powder blue geckos. Let's. How much do powder blue geckos, toke geckos, really go for? Um, a lot of money. They go for a lot of money. I don't know that many people working with powder blues anymore. Like actually producing and breeding them. Honestly, I don't really know much people producing animals for sale. Much like myself, everyone, I think now that the market is really coming in fruition and people are really wanting morphs and that market is going up, 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 um, I think everyone's going to be holding back stuff, including myself. I want to really get a colony going. I want 30, 40, 50 tokes breeding, getting some weird combinations that have never been formed. I want to do a, a bunch of more World's First stuff. Uh, probably people are going to beat me to some of that stuff, but I'm, I'm going to try my luck for, with some others. So, I don't really know where to get the powder blues anymore. I really don't see anyone producing any. Um, I see imports come in every now and then, but that is about it. Uh, what I can tell you is that powder blue geckos are going to be expensive. They're almost hitting the uh, quadruple, that 1k mark. I believe last time I saw a powder blue for sale that was a wild cut import, uh, they were out seeing seven to nine hundred dollars depending on if it was male or female. A very big price. And that's not even to say it was an import. You know, there is stuff they have to go with acclimating wild caught animals. We won't get into that, but captive bread, I think if you're captive breeding powder blues, you can probably get a K for them, maybe even more. I mean, they are a very desir desirable genetic mutation, and with really no one doing it at the moment, you're definitely going to have a monopoly on the market. 
And there you have it, folks. We got a few little genetic mutations and how much they cost. I've seen a lot of people asking about what the market price is. You're not really going to find it anywhere because there's no morph market for tokens. They just fly off the shelf. So there's your boy Dakota swooping in, finding an opportunity and trying to secure the views. <laughs> That was cringy. If you guys want me to make a video going into the actual top tier tech tokens, you know, that thousand dollar market, things like that, and where to find those, uh, like the video, leave a comment that you want to see it, and I will make another video going over just that. Other than that, if you haven't had enough of this token video content goodness, we got a plethora of videos right there on that playlist. We got a couple more awesome videos right here and down here. That's where you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, which if you haven't, what are you even doing? That's going to wrap it up, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.